Hey guys, I thought I would do a few new videos on some really difficult non-calculator questions. And the first one that I've picked that I'm gonna do in this video is about thirds. So when we look at this question, it's taken from the June 2023 paper. We've got two different fractions here, both which have got an irrational denominator. They want it to be written in this form here. We'll notice where A, B, and C are integers. We'll notice that the denominator here is rational. So really what we're being asked to do here is to rationalize the denominator. So for the first fraction that we've got, which is my three root three, over four minus root three. If you remember how to rationalize that denominator, you multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of this thing, which means the same thing, but just flipping it from a minus to a plus or from a plus to a minus. So we're gonna be multiplying it by a four plus root three over a four plus root three like this. And I often like to put brackets around this, just to remember that when we're expanding these things, we are gonna be using sort of our uh, expanding brackets kinds of laws with that. And then for the next part, we have our 2 over root 3. And to rationalize that one, this one's really simple. You just multiply by the same thing to the numerator and the denominator. So we get our square root of 3 over our square root of 3. Okay, let's work on this first part. For the numerator, I'll have the 3 root 3 times by the 4, which is my 12 root 3. And then I have a 3 root 3 multiplied by a root 3. Well, first of all, just do the root 3s. Root 3 times root 3 is just three. And there's another three, so three times three is nine. So that means that we have a plus nine for that bit. And then on the denominator, we are gonna have to do the double bracket expansion here. So we get the four times the four, which is the 16. And then look at this next part that we've got. If I did the root three, the minus root three times the four, I get a minus four root three. And if I do the four times the root three, I get a plus four root three. So those bits are gonna cancel out, so there's not much point in including those. The last thing I need to do though, is the root three and the root three here, the negative root three and the positive root three. They're gonna give us three, and there's a negative there, so it's going to be a negative three. So that's that first one completely done. We've rationalized the denominator. Now for this next one, super simple. The numerator is just going to be a 2 times root 3, which is just going to be a 2 root 3 like this. And then again, we have a root 3 times a root 3, which is just a 3. So if I just slightly simplify the first one, I can simplify the denominator so that it's just 16 minus 3, which is 13. And the next one is just going to stay the same as 2 root 3 over 3. Now let's go back to the question. They want it written as a single fraction where a, b, and c are integers. So what we're going to do now is just write this as a single fraction going right back to probably, I don't know, year seven or year eight maths of adding fractions together. So we need to get them to have a common denominator. Now the common denominator for 13 and three is going to be just their lowest common multiple, which is 39. So I need to multiply this one by three and this one by 13. I'm just going to kind of jot that down in a different color. So this one is going to have to get multiplied by a three and this one is going to have to get multiplied by a 13. So, and that's obviously a three over three and a 13 over 13. So when I times it by three, I would get my 36 root three plus 27. And that's obviously now going to be over 39, which is the common denominator we wanted. And when I do the two root three times 13, well, we just do the two times the 13, which is 26 root three over 39. And so now we've got the common denominator, which is 39. That's the C value that we have in the question. We will just look at what we do for the other bits. So I have a 36 root three minus a 26 root three. That is just gonna be a 10 root three. And then I've still got the plus 27, so I have that as my final answer. Now we don't have to write down what A, B, and C are, but it's worth noting that A in this case is 10, B in this case is 27, and C is 39. Let's double check if we got this right. So I've got my spare page there, and this is the mark scheme for this question. We have the 10 root three plus 27 over 39. So I'll do a few more of these tricky questions. Hopefully they'll be good for some last minute or some quick bits of revision as you build up to doing the hardest parts of the non-calculator exam.